Hi, I'm Karina, co-founder of Rebound Hounds. Training your new foster dog to walk properly on the leash and other basic obedience is essential in making them more attractive to adopters. And choosing the right equipment is half the battle. There are almost as many types of collars and leashes as there are breeds of dogs. Choosing the right one doesn't have to be confusing. First, start with a basic cloth or leather leash in a four to six foot length. Next, another basic is a flat cloth or leather buckle collar. Another option is the martingale collar, which is a slip collar. It prevents dogs from slipping out when they're scared or agitated. For dogs who pull hard on their walks, try a no-pull harness, which has a front clip that attaches to the leash. Make sure the harness fits snugly so the dog can't wiggle out of it. For dogs who are reactive to bikes, other dogs, people, or cars, consider using a head halter. Always read product sizing information to ensure a proper fit, and do some training beforehand to desensitize your foster dog to the head halter. Extra length leashes safely give your foster dog more freedom during walks and also are used to train the come command, which helps reinforce your dog's recall. For certain dogs, muzzles are a useful tool to keep everyone safe during vet visits or during training sessions. The key is to teach your foster dog to be comfortable wearing one by having them associate it with something positive, like a high value treat. Treats are always great for training. Find out what treats motivate your foster dog to stay focused and keep your hands free by wearing a treat pouch. Toys such as plush toys, balls, and squeakers are good motivators too. Praise, clickers, and using verbal markers such as the word yes work as well. Retractable leashes should not be used for training. And training collars such as prongs, chokes, and e-collars should not be used without the guidance of a professional trainer. Pet equipment has become a huge business and there are so many options it can often be confusing. Keeping it simple, understanding what works and what is safe will make your choices easier and your training more successful. Thanks and happy fostering.